So you want to make games, right? You want to make those cool indie games that you play on Steam or Nintendo Switch, but you find yourself constantly making excuses. Why is that? Well, I'm here to tell you what those excuses are and why you're really not allowed to make them. So my name is Thomas Brush. I made a game called Pinstripe. I'm also working on a game called Once Upon a Coma. And I work from my parents' basement, at least for now. Me and my wife are in transition right now and we're moving. And I'm kind of taking advantage of what's around me, uh, the, the spaces available to me to actually make games. And I felt like it was a really good opportunity to, to spread this message of you can't make excuses anymore. Um, you can't keep making excuses, especially now in this time in history. And I just want to give you an example of or three reasons why you really shouldn't be making excuses, especially now in human history. So first, there's a ton of software and a ton of tools available to you to make games. A lot of these tools are free or they're just inexpensive, right? I mean, you've got Unity, which is a tool to port your game to pretty much any platform imaginable. Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, Steam, Mac, PC, and Linux. Um, iOS, Android, you name it. It's all available to you and you can download it for free right now. Now, it's also cool because there's a ton of tools that you can get with Unity that are free or at least very inexpensive on the Asset Store. A friend of mine named David Well, I think is how you say his name, it's spelled W-E-H-L-E, -E, he made a game called The First Tree, did really well on Steam and it's out on console as well. And David made the game um, without really learning any code and he just downloaded some cool tools uh, from the Unity Store the Unity Asset Store, and made a great game. Um, it's really an incredible time in history to make games. You can also download Blender, which is a 3D um, modeling tool that's free, um, and also Photoshop and Illustrator, and a lot of the Adobe tools are also free or really inexpensive if you're a student. Um, so that's the first excuse, right? There's a ton of tools available to you, um, and you can't really make that excuse anymore. I think maybe 30 years ago, people like me, um, who I'm not necessarily the greatest at taking my finances, saving my money, and then and you know, putting that money into places that uh, I can utilize my skill sets. The way I do it now uh, is I kind of just guess and check what tools are good and what I like, um, and I don't really make investments in software um, because I'm just not good at that. It's all free to me, so I'm just going to guess and check what's, what's going to work for me. And I make a lot of mistakes, and fortunately it doesn't cost me anything. Uh, and I think 30 years ago I probably couldn't have done that. Um, because if you wanted to make films or games, uh, you really had to know what tools you were, you were going to use and, and learn those tools and invest your time and your money in those tools. So that's the first excuse. The second excuse is um, we think that you know, our game won't actually fit in to a certain storefront or a certain category. But the truth is, is right now, uh, there is a place for pretty much every game, genre, and idea. So right now, you might have an idea for a game that you think is kind of silly, right? Um, you like it, but you think people will perceive it as silly. Well, I think now, in human history, there's probably 10,000 people out there minimum, who like your idea and who are probably similar to you. I think the best audience to build for is yourself. And the reason why is because you can be honest with your development, um, with your characters, with your story, with your music. Um, you can be honest because it's who you are, right? And so if you're building a game for you, um, it's going to come across as honest and transparent and real. And I think it's also the best way to be creative, creatively energetic because if you love something, you're probably going to pour your heart, soul, and mind into it. Now, the cool thing about the where we are in human history right now is that there are probably 10,000 people out there just like you who are going to love your game. So if you're being honest with yourself, you're also going to be honest with 10,000 audience members. I don't know exactly what the number is for Pinstripe, for example, which is my first game. Um... But we did a Humble Bundle, and it's also performed well on Steam, Nintendo Switch, and, and, and various consoles. So I'm pretty sure the number is much higher than 10,000 people. And that's a really cool thought. So take some time, like maybe right now, okay? 
And just imagine, think right now, about your game being in the hands of 10,000 people. I mean, have you ever seen a crowd of 10,000 people? I would, I would Google image that right now. See if you can find a crowd of 10,000 people. Now imagine your game being in the hands of those people. I mean, obviously there's financial benefit there, but just think about how good that feels. This is called visualization right now, by the way, which is what we're doing. Visualizing your future, visu vis visualizing your dream and seeing it come to rea a reality. And this helps you not make excuses. When you think about exactly what you want to achieve, um, and in this case, 10,000 people playing your game. And not only that, 10,000 people appreciating your game, right? We're talking about people who are just like you. You yourself appreciate your game, right? Because you think that the idea is cool. Well, there's probably 10,000 people out there who will also do that. So that's the second excuse, right? Um, there's really no, no reason to think that your game can't find a place. Now, obviously, it is difficult out there. It's especially difficult on places like Steam. There's a ton of games to compete with. But new platforms are kind of popping up all over the place. So I think it's your job, it's my job, um, to constantly keep our, our um, eyes open for new platforms that are available to us to release our games. And I think that those platforms are probably going to get more and more prominent um, and more and more available to indie game developers um, as we move on into the future with technology. All right, here's the final reason why you have no excuse to not make games. It's cheap. It's really cheap. Now I know, I know time is money, but if you are maybe single, maybe you don't uh, go out in the evenings a lot, maybe after work you come home and you just maybe watch Netflix. If you're anything like I used to be, uh, come home, watch Netflix, or sit on your phone. The truth is, is that time isn't really money all the time, especially if you're just coming home and not doing anything. So we all have plenty of time on our hands, probably, to make games. I think we're probably not as busy as, um, as we think we are. I can't remember exactly what study it was, but there was a study, um, I think it was in a, a study on Americans, um, who said that they were way busier um, than they could handle. But these people actually, during a study, actually wrote down exactly what they did during the day. Every hour by hour, exactly what they did. And what they found is that they actually had a lot more time on their hands and maybe even wasted more time than they thought they did. Think about your normal evening or maybe your day. How much time do you spend on your phone, on Instagram or Reddit or YouTube? How much time do you spend on Netflix? when you come home um, from work or from, from your classes. We probably have a lot more time on our hands. And because time is money, um, yes, I understand that spending a lot of time working on a game could be perceived as expensive. But again, you know, if you're not doing anything with that time to begin with, then it's actually not expensive. Now, maybe 30 years ago, time was much more expensive right? But if you are maybe in a Western culture or you're in a culture that's prosperous, which let's be honest, most of us watching these videos are probably um, in a prosperous culture. Um, if you're one of those people, then you have a lot more time on your hands than uh, humans in most of human history. So take advantage of the time that you are plopped down into. We're so lucky to be alive in this time right now with all this technology available to us, meaning all this time and freedom available to us to do whatever we want. Um, especially if you're you know, in your teens and your 20s, time is a lot more available to you. Uh, I, I know that my time is slowly shrinking. I have a wife and a daughter, and uh, I'm totally excited to have that time being taken up by a wife and a daughter but it, it is being taken up. So time gets more and more expensive the older you get. So if you're in your 20s right now, now's the time. Now is the time to take advantage of your time because it's cheaper. So those are the three reasons why you really don't have an excuse. You really don't have an excuse not to make games. Or if you don't want to make games, maybe make films, write a book, write, a, write some comics, um, write some music, tell stories, be creative. 
it is the best time in history to be creative. So without further ado, those are my reasons. Again, my name is Thomas Brush. I make games for a living. Please hit the subscribe button if you like these videos. I'm going to try and post every day from now on. Um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, leave a comment, subscribe. And finally, I just want to give a big shout out to my patrons. Um, the most recent patron, Jeremy, Mike, Matthias, and Nate. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. If you want to see some exclusive content, head on over to Patreon. It supports this channel. It also helps me make games. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Bye.